For a generation, one aircraft has ruled the skies, the American F-35. It's the invisible predator, the ghost in the machine that has defined modern air power. But what happens when the king is challenged, not by better technology, but by a tidal wave of sheer numbers? This is the story of China's J-35 fighter, and how a strategy of mass production could reshape the global arms market and forever alter the balance of power in the air. It's a battle of philosophies, a contest between a combat-proven champion and a rising challenger built for a new kind of war, where quantity might just get a quality all its own. The F-35 Lightning II isn't just a fighter jet, it's the backbone of Western air dominance. As of early 2026, the global fleet is pushing past 1,300 aircraft, with over 20 nations having ordered or now operating the jet. Just last year, in 2025, Lockheed Martin delivered somewhere between 150 and 170 jets, a production rate that significantly outpaces any other Western fighter currently being manufactured. This production powerhouse has placed the F-35 at the heart of Allied air strategies from Europe to the Indo-Pacific. And its combat record is undeniable. In recent years, F-35s have played key roles in real-world operations, proving their value when it counts. The jet's famous stealth, often described with the analogy of having a radar cross-section the size of a golf ball, lets it slip through enemy defenses completely unseen. Combine that with its advanced sensor fusion, giving pilots a god-like view of the battlefield, and you have a terrifyingly effective weapon. But even kings have their weaknesses. The F-35 is notoriously expensive, with a price tag ranging from 80 to over $100 million per jet, not to mention the staggering lifetime maintenance costs. On top of that, readiness rates have been a persistent headache. While things are improving, the fleet struggled in the past, with some reports citing mission-capable rates hovering around 50% earlier in the 2020s. These weak points, high cost and demanding upkeep, have left a crack in the F-35's armor, and opening a new Challenger is ready to exploit. China's answer to the F-35 is the Shenyang J-35. But Beijing isn't just building a rival jet, it's building a whole new strategy. Instead of trying to match the F-35 one for one on tech, China is playing a different game, one focused on mass production, industrial might, and overwhelming scale. The proof is rolling out of the factory right now. Recent footage from early 2026 shows brand new J-35s, still in their green factory primer, conducting test flights. The sight of two new airframes, what analysts are calling the land-based J-35A, Flying in formation is the strongest signal yet that China has shifted from prototypes to full-scale serial production. This isn't just a few new planes, it's the birth of an aviation megafactory. Chinese state-linked media has reported that the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation has a goal to double its total production capacity in the next three to five years, signaling an industrial mobilization of massive proportions. This ambition is all about creating a different kind of advantage, the plan isn't necessarily to build a better jet, but to build more jets. It's a strategy of saturation, designed to overwhelm a smaller, more technologically advanced force with pure numbers. While the West focused on perfecting a single, exquisite weapon, China is gearing up to mass-produce fifth-generation aircraft for a high-intensity war of attrition. So, how does the Challenger actually stack up against the champion? Let's pop the hood, because no matter how sleek a fighter looks, it's what's inside that counts. Based on what we can piece together, their raw performance seems surprisingly close. Analyst estimates put the J-35's top speed at Mach 1.8, a bit faster than the F-35's Mach 1.6. Some projections also suggest the J-35 might have a slight edge in combat range on internal fuel, though these numbers are highly speculative. And while the F-35 relies on a single, powerful F-135 engine, the J-35 has a twin-engine design, a feature many naval pilots prefer for the added safety over water. The biggest questions are still stealth and electronics. The F-35's stealth and sensor fusion are the result of decades of American investment and have been proven in combat. 
The J-35's real capabilities are still theoretical. Chinese outlets, however, make bold claims about its advanced stealth characteristics. When it comes to firepower, analysis of the J-35's design suggests it can carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles internally. That would put it on par with the latest F-35 variant, which can also be configured to carry six. But the J-35's most visible progress has been at sea. By late 2025, imagery and reports strongly suggested that the carrier variant had begun launch and recovery trials for China's new aircraft carrier, the Fujian. Chinese media has shown footage that appears to confirm the jet launching from the Fujian's advanced electromagnetic catapults, a major step forward for China's naval aviation. While it isn't the first stealth fighter to do so, the US Navy's F-35C already achieved that milestone. It proves China is rapidly closing the technology gap. The J-35 isn't just a weapon, it's a product, and it's priced to sell. This is where China's strategy gets really clever. While an F-35 will set a country back $80 to $100 million, analysts speculate the J-35's unit cost could be around $70 million, maybe even less for a bulk order. That price gap isn't a discount, it's a geopolitical tool. China is targeting nations that can't buy the F-35, either for political or financial reasons. For a while, rumors were flying that Pakistan was getting a deal for the J-35, but in mid-2025, Pakistan's defense minister shut those reports down, calling them media speculation. Unconfirmed chatter has also mentioned interest from countries like Egypt. So far, no export deals have been confirmed. The J-35's biggest hurdle is that it has zero combat experience. Air forces buy trust as much as they buy technology, and the F-35's proven performance gives it a credibility the J-35 just doesn't have, yet. But what's your take? In a real dogfight, who wins? The combat-proven F-35 or the new J-35? And is the F-35's tech edge enough to handle a potential numbers disadvantage? Drop your analysis in the comments below. The rivalry between the F-35 and J-35 is more than just a contest between two planes. It's a clash of military philosophies. The F-35 is the peak of the Western way of war, technological supremacy, where a single platform dominates through superior awareness and stealth. The J-35 represents another vision entirely, one where industrial capacity and overwhelming numbers can grind down a more advanced, but smaller, opponent. The F-35 is still the king of the skies, backed by a global network of allies and a combat record that speaks for itself. China's dream of exporting the J-35 hasn't come true yet, and its technology is still unproven in the brutal reality of war. But Beijing is playing the long game. The hum of its expanding factories is a sign that the future of air power might not be decided by who has the better jet, but by who can build the most. The fight for the skies is no longer just about quality, it's also about quantity. And China is showing the world it plans to compete on both. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on military tech and global strategy, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.